in the month of Halloween, which means we're making Halloween goodies. But so we thought we'd do something a little off the wall. We thought we'd make deviled eggs. Everybody likes deviled eggs. You know, even the kid that doesn't like eggs will eat deviled eggs. So <laughs> eat a lot the way to, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do our signature style though. Our signature style of deviled eggs is we color the egg whites. And then you have multicolored eggs, which you can put out as an appetizer or um, a party favor, that sort of thing. So um, we'll show you how we make our deviled eggs and they always taste really, really good. Um, we're gonna need a fork, I think, because we gotta break yeah. those up. But first things first, what you need to do with eggs, and how many did you make? I, well, it actually turned out to be 11, and yeah. not 12. The 12th <laughs> she was gonna make, it. yeah, the, the twelfth one left a little thing, but well, she made 12 eggs and what you do is you boil them, you hard boil them. Um, for us, we usually do it about 14 minutes because then you're pretty sure that the, the yolk is completely cooked. But the minimum you want to do is boil it for, for 12 minutes. Um, and then what you do is you crack the eggs and you want to peel them as gently as possible because you want the whole egg. So you can watch how she does that. Move these other things over here so you can see. And of course that one doesn't want to peel nicely. No, it doesn't. <laughs> That's the thing. There are a couple different ways to make hard boiled eggs. It makes it easy to peel. The first way is you can put baking soda, a little bit of baking soda, like two teaspoons of baking soda in a big pot of water. And that makes the peel come off, you know, the, the um, shell come off really easy. The other way to do it is you boil your eggs and then you let them cool in the water and they, they naturally cool down and then it, they're pretty easy to peel just like that one. Or the other way you could do it is you crack them and you put them back in the water. Wait for it to cool so you don't burn your hands. But you put, you rinse them with cold water, you put them back in there and you crack them and then leave them in the water. The water gets in between the egg and the membrane and makes it easy to peel. So there's a couple different ways of peeling uh, hard boiled eggs. All right, so once you have your hard boiled eggs peeled, um, that's when you start cutting them in half. And the easiest way to do it is just now you can do this in two different ways. You can you can decide to cut, you know, across the length of the the egg, across the width. Um, that's one way of doing it. It makes them kind of pointy and they, they sit. But the easiest way to do it is actually lengthwise. And then you just drop the egg yolk in there. Because you want to separate the whites um, with the egg yolk. Now, because we're going to because we're going to color the whites, we're just going to put them directly in the cups for, that we're going to color. So, do you want me to split them or do you want me to put them? Yeah. So you put them in there because what we're going to do is fill these with water and then add um, a, a teaspoon. Is it a tablespoon or a teaspoon? It's a tablespoon. A tablespoon of uh, vinegar. The vinegar helps the color sit and, and yeah. absorb into the eggs. It will not change the flavor of the egg. Don't worry, like, ew, you're putting the whites into vinegar. It's yeah. not gonna change the flavor at all. Yeah. You won't even notice. So, basically what we'll do is we'll just cut these and split them into the, into the cups. There we go. Now, um, I'm gonna wash my hands. But, you want to have three glasses and and will you put the water in please sure. so what you're going to do is you're going to fill these up above the above the level of the the eggs and um and then we're going to put the three different colors we picked orange purple and yellow this time for for the egg colors and uh you'll want to leave them in what did we decide eight to ten minutes yeah but the, the thing says ten minutes i like to do it for 15 particularly for the purple all right so now fill these with water probably you know mm -hmm. up to there fill these with water and we will start dyeing them now we're starting to dye them before we make the the goop <laughs> in the center of it because it'll give it a chance to absorb a lot of the color all right so, should we do purple in this one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. 
Yeah. You'd have we should probably do the vinegar. Yeah. You want to do the vinegar? Mm, might be important. And let's do orange in the glass one so they can see. A tablespoon of vinegar, if you were wondering. Yeah, that's a tablespoon of vinegar, all right. <laughs> yes, it was. Okay, so you set those aside and let them and let them color for about. Ooh, ha 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 ha! That just went over my fingers. Um, for about ten to fifteen minutes. You might have to wait longer for the purple because, again, um, it, it, the purple isn't as strong. Yeah, it, it takes more than one. Okay, so with this, this is where this is where the devil part of the deviled eggs comes together. So what you're going, what it says for six eggs, right? And this recipe is for six eggs. Okay, I basically doubled it, so it's fine. Yeah. For six eggs, you want a quarter cup of mayonnaise, um, a teaspoon of white vinegar, a teaspoon of yellow mustard of any kind. We prefer we prefer Dijon because it actually brings a lot more flavor to it and it makes it even better. Um, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, some and some black pepper. Now, we have modified this a little bit. Um, we add we add a little bit of garlic powder because it also brings out the flavor and it just makes it better. And as she said, she made 12 eggs. Or, and um, that was the plan. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to make it, we're gonna double the recipe, but we're also gonna do it to taste. This is a basic recipe. When you put it all together and you taste it, you'll know if you're like, mm, we need a little of something and this, that, and the other. So, Sometimes it takes garlic and sometimes it doesn't. I would I use the, yeah, but I would, I would also like just put it in this thing. So first thing you want to do when you get the, the yolks in there is you're going to actually want to mash them up with a fork. Um, it's just the best way to get it done. And you want it because you want to break it up and to make it small pieces. It's hard to mix this together if you don't have it already broken up um, into crumbles, basically. So you want to break up the yolks. Usually she makes me make 18 eggs and then it's just like, how am I going to get through all of this? But this is a nice amount. <laughs> it's because I eat a lot of them and you have this hang up about me eating all of them and you don't get any. Yeah, I do. I'm doing all the work and you eat all of them? Give me no, a break. I'm not doing all the work. <laughs> Only when I was little would you do all the work. Mm. Now that I'm big, I have to do some of them. Yeah, yes you do. If you want to eat all of them, you have to do some of the work. The nice thing also though is it's a pretty simple recipe. It's good at Easter time when you have eggs as your thing, right? You're, you're going to dye the eggs. Um, that's where we came up with the idea of dyeing the egg whites because then you don't have to worry about the shells and you can make deviled eggs and they're, they're fun colored and stuff like that. And now we do it every year. Now we do it every year because it was so fun the first year we did it. You want it to kind of look really crumbly, broken up and crumbly, um, because it makes a better paste for the inside. Now, if you're feeling really fancy, um, you would put this in a in a pastry bag and you'd squeeze it into the eggs. Oh my like, yeah, all fancy and it has little designs. Yeah, we're not doing that today. You're just gonna glop it in there and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be Besides, it's supposed to be ugly and creepy. It's, it's Halloween. All right, so you break up the, you break up the, what? I'm just, I'm amused by this. You break up the eggs and then you start adding the other ingredients. Um, there we go. For example, mayonnaise. You're gonna want mayonnaise in it. Um, and I want a small, 
I'll use this one. But um, so you're gonna use the mayonnaise, and I think we keep using the the fork, don't we? Yeah. Okay. So. And there is half a cup. This is a half a cup because of 12 eggs. This is half a cup of mayonnaise. Now, when it comes to the adding the vinegar, we still stick with one teaspoon of vinegar because vinegar is so strong, you don't want to overdo it. So even though that we're doubling the recipe, don't double the vinegar. We need the, a teaspoon of white vinegar, but we also need two teaspoons of of uh, mustard. And again, we we use the Dijon mustard because it just brings out a better flavor for things. Again, it is to taste, but these are the basics to start with. All right, and then I'm gonna, let's, are you sure you wanna add that yet? Well, let's stir this up. We usually add the garlic at the very end. Right. Once it's kind of. So you're, what you're attempting to make is kind of a egg yolk paste. And you want to mix it well enough that you don't have large chunks of just straight mayonnaise or mustard. So it should look like a paste. Clip it up. That's it. Cool. That's all you want. You do not want more. No. No, no, no. You do not want more. You're supposed to put in pepper. Do it to taste. Some people like a lot of pepper. Some people don't like any. So for me, I kind of... That's good. I don't like a lot of pepper. I want it to be, you know, I want it to add to it, but I don't want it to overwhelm. However, with garlic. This stuff is so good, even the cats kind of like it. The only problem is if you add garlic, it kills the cat. So, so yes, if you've added garlic, do not feed it to your cat. But my cats, one of my cats really loves uh, pickled items. So he loves olives and, and deviled eggs and yeah, he likes pickled items. Yeah, the other one does not. No, the other one's like, what are you eating? That's so nasty. Yeah. All right. Yep. Garlic. I can feel the burn taste the same, you know. <laughs> but it's only a quarter, that was only a quarter of a teaspoon. Which is good, it doesn't need any more. Nope, it doesn't need any more. Any more and everyone's like, well, so you're having garlic, are you? You let dad get to it again, huh? <laughs> the timer went off, so I, we're going to drain these and, and um, so we should have colored eggs at the end, right? Yep. Where did you want to put them? I'll get out a plate. So I'm gonna drain them and it's best to use a, like a, like a strainer because that way you, you don't lose any eggs down the sink. So now is when you start filling the, the holes of the eggs with a little bit of this. And, and you know, the easiest thing to do is just start with a little bit because you want to spread it throughout all the eggs. And it doesn't matter if they've broken because you can, you can always add, add it to the broken ones. Even the broken ones, they taste just as fine. They do. Even the broken ones. Now the rest we will save for the, um, the purples but we have to wait for them to, to uh, color, right? Mm -hmm. The rest we can save, we say it, and that you're still. Well, I mean, the, yes. the majority we will save for these. Um, and if we still have some left over, we can add, but, oh, let's put this back in here. Now, she refers to this as the real paprika. This real paprika. Turns out it's not actually Hungarian. I didn't need to know that. <laughs> yeah. I 
particularly because my night mama sent it to us. Right. Well, it wasn't, it didn't start as Hungarian. Mm. It became a spice that was known, that the Hungarians were known for. Actually, I'm not going to do this yet because we need to know if we have extra and we don't want to cover it back up. But what you're going to do is you're going to basically drizzle paprika over the deviled eggs. But we still have to wait for the purple, so... See you in six and a half minutes. Yeah, see you in a little bit, and then we will have the whole thing done, and then you can see. Once you have all of your eggs filled, and again, even if they're broken, you can, you can fill them. It's, it's no big deal. Then you take... Break this up a little bit. Then you take only a little paprika because you don't want to do paprika bombs. Otherwise you will burn your guests' mouths. Ooh, that one on the other hand is going to be one your, your dad's gonna eat. <laughs> you only need a little bit because this is really just for garnish, garnish and a little bit of flavor. You don't want very much. Like that's it, that's all you need. And then it, it looks kind of artsy, then you have different colors, and it kind of looks for a fun party favor. Um, oh, is, oh, this is just, yeah. So it's, it's a great thing to serve at parties, um, and most people really love deviled eggs. So you have this festive looking side. I guess it's a side dish, isn't it? So, um, or appetizer, whatever. You can set these out at your party with chips and dip and all this stuff. And yeah, I guarantee they will not last long. You won't see any left at the end of the party, I promise. Um, which is why she usually makes me make 18 or more eggs. But then you have 36 halves. <laughs> but. Hang ups about me eating all of them. I do. It's called sharing. So. <laughs> That's it. That's the that's the simple way to make deviled eggs. And like I said, you can do it at any time of year. You can do it at Easter because everyone's making eggs at that point. Or you can do it at Halloween. So, thank you so much for joining us. Definitely uh, ring the bell to know when new videos come up. Like the video. Comment on the video. Tell us if you tried it or if you, you tried something different. We'd love to hear about it. Um, subscribe. and subscribe to the channel so that we know that you like it. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Happy making, happy baking, happy eating, and happy, happy reading. reading.